What is good, YouTube? It is San Diego Comic Con week coming this weekend. So, yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? Wish you here. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content we do on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, comment down below what do you think about this video, and turn notifications on. Also, if you could follow me on Instagram at Wish you if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice, and also check us out on the Twitter sphere. Warstu G, why isn't it Warstu? Because someone robbed my handle when I changed it for literally five seconds and legally I can't get it back, which freaking sucks. So I know it's going to seem like I'm doing back to back Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, Ant Man 3 videos, but there is more information and this is more comprehensive. And also, the source is also more respectable. And then the other Twitter Scooby when I go over, over, this is going over information that came from Daniel RPK, who is more of a trader guy, but he gets his information right more than any other super duper scooper. So now let's break it down. The film opens up with a flashback scene where we see Janet Van Dyne meeting Kang in the quantum realm where she was there. She sensed that he was a threat, and in the present day, she senses his present again. Thus, he gets Hank, Scott, and Hope, and they all go to the quantum realm to investigate. As we know from the information that came out from the test screen, and most of this movie will take place in the quantum realm, but as I said, this information is more comprehensible and in more depth. In the meantime, Cassie finds one of Hank's suits while snooping in the basement. I'm guessing that she goes to the quantum realm as well. So this segment here, it's more kind of predicting, but of what's going to happen. She gets a suit, a quantum realm suit. So obviously there's a reason why she gets one. The ant farm explores the quantum realm and reaches the quantum kingdom, the city that Janet used to live in. There they meet Kang, Krilla, played by Bill Murray. He and Janet were in a relationship and even had SCX, gotta say that for the YouTubes, during their time together. Hank says he was going on dates too. There's a small love triangle because Krilla still has feelings for Janet, and it's awkward between them. Yeah, I never thought there'd be a love triangle in this movie. That's kind of fascinating in a way. There they learn that Kang variant that Janet had met, who is an adaptation of Victor Timely's variant, from the comics, like how the one in Loki was an adaptation of the Immortals variant, is trying to take over the center of time, which is in the quantum realm. Kang has Modok at his side as his second in command, which backs up what my time to shine said on Twitter, which looks very comic book accurate, but has a different history. This Modoc is Corey Stool's character from Ant-Man 1. Darren Cross, Pym's psychopath protege who wanted to replicate his work. He didn't die when he entered the quantum realm. That was already confirmed by the director, Patient Reed, back in 2015. He just got disconfigured and ended up looking like Modoc. Okay, that's kind of a decent-ish explainer. He has a personal agenda and wants to take revenge on Pym and Scott. So he portrays Kang and joins the heroes and helps them defeat Kang. The heroes have an army by their side. Remember, there's going to be multiple variances of Kang. So even if this one gets defeated, Kang is going to keep appearing throughout time, I presume, going forward after phase four into phase five. An army raised by their side, raised by Krilla, but the army fails. So the ant... Fam summons an army of ants to help in this fight. After Kang is defeated, Modok betrays the heroes and traps them all in the quantum realm whilst he goes free. And that is the end of the movie. And is that the French kiss that Casey Wall shit on Twitter? That does not sound like a French kiss to me. Modok escaping, sure. Yes, okay, I know I said that Modok's can create aim, but aim hasn't really been the forefront. Of anything in the MCU, they've not shoved aim in your face. So when I said in the previous, literally the previous video we made before this, that Modok was going to make aim, 
I was more specifically talking about AIM would be a forefront of some part of the MCU going forward if MODOK is coming into the equation as MODOK is a big part of the video games such as Marvel and Avengers, Marvel Strike Force, and also the video game on the Switch where I can't remember the title of as we freestyle this. It's also said he heard that Kang is underused in the film and only has a bit bigger role than Thanos had in Guns of the Galaxy, I hope not as John Majors will slay, with MODOK essentially being an equal main villain than Ronan of this film. That's interesting. There were some very old rumors saying this film would be Young Avengers, and some new rumors say that the film went through three scripts, one with MODOK, which Patent Reed wanted, one with Kang, and one with Yai. But they ended up merging the first two, and there would be a yay tease at the end of the movie. Great phase agrees at yay tease in case she was verifies that Ye is not in the film. Now, this is very interesting information, and it kind of backs up everything that was said on the Twitter sphere about Modoc being it, about Krilla being it, and about it essentially being a multiversal quantum realm all-out war inside the quantum realm, the fact they're going to get stuck in the quantum realm, it's kind of like Infinity War and Endgame in, in a roundabout way, because that was a little part of the story, but it does sound pretty cool, as I said. Marvel Phase 4 has been pretty weak. No, that does not mean I didn't like it. It just has been pretty weak. So is this the French kiss? I don't know. But Cassie Lung becomes a hero. No yay is what Casey Walsh said on the Twitter sphere. I know he's not always right, but when it comes to Marvel stuff, he's got a decent-ish track record. Possibly sets up a team-up, and it backs up everything that Casey Walsh said. I don't know the origin of this plot leak, but it does back up literally everything that Casey Walsh and My Time to Shine said on Twitter sphere last week and it also comes up with even more information and details and goes into a far greater plot. It also tells you what MODOK wants. Revenge, a love triangle, which sounds a little bit crazy. Doesn't really go into detail too much about Kang, but it kind of does tell you what Kang is trying to do. He's trying to take control of the center of the Earth. He's trying to control time, space. He's kind of control everything. Kind of like a Thanos-based role. Be interesting to see where Doctor Doom comes into play, as we know. Secret Wars is at the forefront of everything. Everything leads to Secret Wars, as Doctor Strange 2 had the incursions, which is basically them screaming. You're going, yeah. Yes, Thor, Mamu's cousin, sister. Yes, we all get in Secret Wars with time, so it's going to be very interesting to see where this movie goes forward and if it pushes the MCU going forward. We do have some more details about Wakanda Forever in more detail, but we're going to go over that in a different video later this week. So like always, guys, thank you very much for spending a few moments with me today. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, comment down below to help the algorithm and help the video grow. That will be much appreciated. If you could follow me on Twitter, WushDUG, we've got like 12 followers over there. No, we haven't. That's just something I say. It's kind of like a joke. And if you could follow me on Instagram, that would be much appreciated. It, it really would. We are close to 23,000 followers. I really want to hit 23,000 followers this year. We're only like 120, oh, 120 off or something like that. Be much appreciated, guys. So like always, check us out on all the platforms. Comment down below if you made it this far. And any video requests, just send them in the comment section down below. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.